everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany of BrittanyJJones.com. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. I hope that you will like what you see and subscribe below for more. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a preview of our next sew along. But before I do that, I do want to apologize. I know I have not been uploading on my regular Monday and Friday schedule, um, but I have my mom and nephew in town with me right now, so I've just been enjoying their company hanging out with family, um, but it's time to get back to sewing. So here we are. <laughs> I am going to be doing a preview from McCall 7936. We all voted. We all loved it. So it's time to do a sew along for it. Um, I just love this loose fitting jumpsuit. I think it's super cute. I love the invisible zipper down the front of it. So I'm going to be doing a preview for this pattern in this video today. If you're new to my channel and you're not sure what a preview video is, in these videos I like to go over my upcoming sew along pattern so I will open up the instructions make sure there's nothing crazy in it that would trip us up when we begin to sew it. I'll show you the supplies that I have purchased, all the notions, and i also tell you the size that I'll be cutting. So if you have any questions about those details, I will be going over it in this video. So let's go ahead and start the preview from McCall 7936. So again, we're going to be sewing McCall 7936. This is a learn to sew pattern for fun. This is a level two pattern. And these patterns are designed for beginners with easy to follow instructions and basic sewing tips. So if you are new to sewing, definitely check out the learn to sew for fun patterns from McCall's and also Simplicity has easy to sew patterns as well. Um, but again, this is McCall 7936. You can see I've purchased this pattern in the large, extra large size. So now let's go ahead and flip onto the back and read more about the description. So this is a Mrs. and Miss Petite Romper Jumpsuit and Belt. It is a loose fitting romper view A and view B, C and D. It's jumpsuit. It has a front invisible zipper, neckline facings, all in one sleeve with link variations. A, C and D have side seam pockets and view B, you can purchase a belt to style with that and view D, it is a self fabric belt available. The fabrics that the pattern has suggested here are a linen, twill, crepe, and a chalet. So the jumpsuits are all the same. They just have length and pocket variations. So I went ahead and purchased four yards of fabric of 60 inch wide just to cover um, the view with the most amount of fabric, which is for view D because it has that self belt with it. So I just went ahead and purchased um, four yards of fabric to just cover me. Other notions that you will need is fusible interfacing. You need 5 eighths of a yard. And you will also need a 22 inch invisible zipper. And if you're going to be um, sewing view B, then I'm sure you have a fashion belt that you can style with it. So looking down here at the finished garment measurements for the measurements for the bust line as well as for the hip line, with my hips being the fullest portion of my body, um, I am going to be cutting these the extra large, which is a 51 and 3 fourth of an inch for the hips. So that is the measurement that I will be cutting. However, my bust is not a 50 and a half. So I will definitely have to do a little bit of grading right here to get a better fit for the upper portion of my body. So um, I will be doing a little um, merging of the pattern lines and I will show you how I do that really quickly in this video. So now that we have went over the description, I have talked about the fabrics that I have suggested, the amount of yardage of the fabric that I have purchased, the notions, as well as the size that I'll be cutting. Now let's go ahead and go over the supplies that I've purchased. So for fabric, I will be using this red linen. This is from LA Finch Fabrics and you all know that I love linen so I'm super excited about this. Um, it feels amazing and yeah, I'm excited to work with that. So this again is a linen. We do need a 22 inch invisible zipper, so I have my zipper here. And we also need some interfacing. Um, don't mind that it says easy knit. I like this for lightweight to midweight fabrics. I like it for knit and woven. So this is what I have on hand. So this is what I will be using for this project. So here's some of the everyday sewing supplies that I will be using. I have my ruler right here in case I need to transfer some lines. My measuring tape, I always have that close by so that I can remeasure myself before I cut my pattern out. I have my machine thread, I have my serger thread, I have my pins as well as my pattern weights. I have my seam gauge right here so that I can press up my seams and hems, my hems accurately so I have my seam gauge close by. Seam ripper because it is my best friend. I, I make mistakes with every project, um, so I'm always using my seam ripper. 
I have my snippers here to cut off the loose threads. Now these right here are some new um, pins that I purchased. I heard a couple other makers saying that they were really good um, <laughs> for sewing with. I think there are friction Frick, frick, friction, I don't know, but I ordered them off Amazon and so far they're working great. Um, when I put heat on them, they um, disappear. So that's always amazing. <laughs> but again, I just purchased these so I really can't give you like a full review on if I love, love, love them or if I've had any problems with the markings not coming off. But so far, I've used them for a couple projects and they are working great. I have my point turner here just in case I need to poke out some corners. This rotary cutter right here I use for cutting out fabric. And this is the rotary cutter that I'm gonna use for cutting out my pattern. I usually use my smaller one like this, but I honestly cannot find it. So I'm gonna use this one now <laughs> until I can find that one. Um, I'm also gonna be using an iron and of course my sewing machine. So now that I've went over all of the supplies for this pattern that I'll be using and everything that I've purchased, let's go ahead and open up the instructions. So really quickly before I go into the instructions, I do just want to show you all the information that these Learn to Sew for Fun patterns include in them. They show you how to adjust the pattern, shorten it or lengthen it. They give you a list of sewing supplies that you need. They go over all the markings on patterns. They talk about the layout, how you can transfer your markings. So that is why I said that these um, patterns are excellent if you are just beginning to sew and you want a more detailed guide. So I just wanted to share that with you in case there are some beginners watching. Um, so now let's go ahead and get into these directions. So the first thing that we will need to do is go ahead and fuse interface into our facing pieces. If you're going to be working on view B, then you will continue up here with step two with folding those outside pockets and pressing those and sewing those onto the front of your jumpsuit. I am going to skip that. I don't want those front pockets on my jumpsuit. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to another view and we can go ahead and follow along with that one. So I'm just going to begin down here at step eight and that is stitching the front to back at the inside leg edge. So we would do that here. And then coming down to step nine, we would stitch this center seam, matching the inner leg seams together, leaving the front free above this large circle. It's a large circle right here. And then we would stitch again in the seam allowance between these two notches right here to reinforce um, this, this crotch curve. So we would do that for step nine. And for step 10, we are beginning to insert the zipper. So for step 10, step 11, step 12, and step 13, those are all zipper insertion steps. So I will walk you through those. So the next step at step 14 begins working back with view B, but I want my side seam pocket. So again, I'm gonna bypass view B and just come down here to step 18, where we start to work with our pockets, pinning those on. At step 18, we're pinning the pockets onto the back at the same way, and then we're stitching the side seam, going around the pocket, making sure we leave that open for the pocket, and stitching down the remainder of the jumpsuit. Then we're going to clip below and above the pocket on the back seam allowance only. And then we will stitch the front to back at the overarm seams. And right here, we're just creating a narrow hem um, for the sleeve. They tell you to press up the 5 eighth of an inch and then fold in along that press and then stitch it. So that's just a 5 eighth of an inch hem for the sleeve. Up here, we begin working on our facing pieces with sewing the front to back together. Then we will sew and attach the facing onto our neckline. Do some under stitching and tack down the neckline at the shoulder seams. And then we will fold those and they have a slip stitching the facing to the zipper tape. So we would do that there. And then for the finishings, we are going to fold up an inch and a quarter of the hem on the lower edge of the garment, baste it close to the fold, turn in a quarter inch on the raw edge, baste that in place and then top stitch that down. And if you want the self belt for view A and D, you can continue up here at step 31 with pinning the center of the belt together and stitching that down, folding it right sides together, flipping it right side out, closing up that seam, and then doing some thread loops on the outside of your jumpsuit. So once you have that done, if you want to do the belt, we'll be all done with our jumpsuit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open up this pattern piece to look closer at the size that I want to cut and do a little bit of merging right now in this video. 
Okay, so let me show you what I am going to do um, for my pattern just to get it to fit me a little bit better. Up here at this bust area here, I'm just going to draw, a, I'm going to line this up with my table here so that I know I'm going to make this line straight across. So up here for my bust, this will be a 46 and a half. And even though this is about six inches bigger than my bust measurement, this is a loose fitting jumpsuit. So it's supposed to be loose fitting anyway. Um, and this is the smallest that this pattern piece goes. So I'm okay with this being at a 46 and a half. Now down here at the waist measurement, this is a 45 and a half. Again, this is a loose fitting jumpsuit, so I am okay with this, you know, being a little loose. I'm just gonna line up the markings right here in this circle with, the, with my grid and just draw straight across. So that is my waistline. Down here at my hip line, which is right here. The large is a 47 and a half, um, and the extra large is a 51 and a half. My hips is a 49 and a half, 50. So I definitely want this extra large. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same line straight across. This right here just lets me know that when I get to these points, I need to be at my um, the line that I want it to be at. So I have my little hip curve ruler right here. and everything above the hip will be cut at a large. But once I get right here to the waistline, I'm going to slowly begin to move my line over to the extra large. So when I get down here at my hip line, I need to be over here by the extra large. So again, everything above the extra large, I'll be cutting on a large. So the waist and the bust, that'd be a large. But down here by the hip, I need this to be an extra large for my hips to fit. So I'm just going to take this curve and I'm looking at it, it's not really much of a curve here. So I'm just going to merge this just a little over and I'm going to do it a little at a time. You don't want to just go, you kind of want to follow the line um, of the pattern. So that is how I get my patterns to fit. Um, I am normally like a 16 in a bust, an 18 in the waist, and a 20 at my hip. So all I do is get my little hip curve ruler and I just merge between these sizes of the finished garment measurements to the measurements of my body. So the top of this pattern will be cut on a large, but right here I'll begin to merge over to an extra large and this will be perfect for my hips. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same merge over for my back pattern piece as well. And then I can cut this out and cut my fabric out and go ahead and stitch up my jumpsuit. All right, y'all, so that is all for the preview video. I really do hope that it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down for me below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you do not miss when this video goes live, and I will see you all then. Blessings, everyone. Bye.